Well guys, I've been tearing into this TTR125 motor. I've got the head and the cylinder off already. And it's pretty easy to tell why it seized up. You guys gotta check this out. It looks pretty awful. Welcome to the vlog guys. I'll be doing a few things outside and then I'll be tearing into that TTR 125 motor. Hope you enjoy. Living on acreage and having two motocross tracks to keep up on, I definitely have my fair share of weeds to spray. I picked up this trailer sprayer to tow behind the lawnmower and I've got to put it together. I'm gonna try this solution I found for getting rid of the gophers. What it is is castor oil here, and I'm gonna mix it up and put it in the sprayer here and spray it on the lawn. Basically, what it is is uh, it's a it's a laxative, so the gophers are gonna ingest it and they're gonna shit themselves and go elsewhere. So let's see how this works. All right, I'm just gonna pour it here into the tank. All right, boys, it is time to tear this motor down. Let's get after it. Well, I've got the head and the cylinder off, and it's pretty easy to tell why this motor is seized up. You can see the pistons pretty melted. This looks terrible. And on top of that, the rod bearing is seized onto the crank. You can see the rod and crank are moving together. So a few of you down in the comments got it right. This can't be good. Check this out. The motor is all apart now and this is the extent of all the damage. The rod bearing is seized and the piston is pretty bad off. Definitely no saving that one. And because of the piston melting like that, it ruined the cylinder wall. So take a look at that. Not good at all. This is what the motor looks like all torn down. The only parts I'm throwing away are the crank and cylinder. Rest of the parts are in pretty good shape. So now it's just time to clean everything up. Check back in a few seconds and I'll have everything all cleaned up. Boom, just like that, everything's clean. Now I'm off to shooting some pictures. All right, this is a studio setup. So we've got all the lighting here and the parts laid out, another light back here. And I'm ready to start shooting. A while back, I had to start putting my logo in with the pictures because people were thinking I was stealing the pictures from someone else. Pretty crazy, isn't it?
this is the final product. You can see it's pretty much a completely white background. So nice and clean for the website. I'm all finished up with shooting pictures and the parts have been organized on the shelves. Now the remainder of the work is left to the computer. So this is a matter of creating an online product, adding in all the details about each part, including part number, condition, pricing, shipping info, pictures, and a lot more. This process usually takes about 10 to 12 hours per bike. Here's a look behind the scenes of a listing on the website. At the top I've got the title, then all the details about the part, including the part number, years and models the part fits, and the condition. And I've got pictures here, pricing info, shipping info, and a few other details for the website. It does take a while to compile all this info and put it into a listing. So I'll show you the finished product here. Just a nice, clean, simple listing and easy to read. The car needed a wash really bad and so I got her all freshened up. And when I was washing it, I noticed there's quite a bit of road grime on the paint. So now I'm using some clay bar to remove it. I'll show you how that works. I don't mean to turn this into a car channel, but cars, dirt bikes, same thing, right? Basically what we have here is a piece of clay made for cleaning up paint. It's not just any clay, it's uh, made for clay barring, they call it. And how this works is you just wet down the surface and then you rub the clay on top of the paint and it works really good at removing any contaminants or road grime stuck on the paint. Here's an example of something that wouldn't come off during washing. So I'm gonna wipe it down and clay bar it, see what it does. Works just like a magic eraser, basically. The whole car's been clay barred, so no more of those black dots left over. It's looking pretty fresh, and the last step is to seal it up. So this is what I use, is the Blackfire Crystal Seal. I just spray it on this pad here, and go to town. Best part about it is it smells really good. It's amazing to see the difference after you've clay barred a car. There's no more gritty texture on the paint. It's just buttery smooth. All right guys, I've got this TTR 125 all finished up. All the parts are now up on the website. So I'll show you what I got going on here. This is the homepage for the website. If you scroll down to make some models, all these parts will be under TTR 125. Got everything you can imagine, big to small. Here's a set of forks, swing arm, some engine parts, and all the way down to little things such as axle spacers and cables. If there's anything you need for a TTR 125, I've definitely got you covered. I'll put the link in the description below. Well, that's it for now. On to the next one. Next time I see you guys, I'll be tearing into another bike. Always super thankful for you guys watching the video and doing your thing down in the comments. Keep it up. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.